Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Tashvita Gupta, your ACCA mentor. So I am here with a very important video for your June 2023 attempt. So many of you have just started your preparation or are nervous about can we manage the exam in the remaining days. So I guess the remaining days are just around 15 to 18 maximum. So if you're giving your audit exam, your FR, your SBR, whichever exam in the skill or the professional level, this video is surely going to help you. So make sure you stick around and just listen to it till the end, maybe double the speed, but please do listen to it. So I am teaching ACCA students since three years now. I qualified my ACCA and I do share my tutored perspective as well as student perspective together because it's not a long time ago that myself I cleared ACCA. So I am teaching ACCA at WIFI. So if you want to enroll for my SBR course, I will be linking down my contact details. And if you want to enroll for Diploma IFRS, that too. Okay, so starting off with this video, let me just first emphasize on how smart work is important in the remaining days. Now, many students out there, many mentors, tutors, they'll say, okay, read the text, do the kit. Practically, guys, in the remaining days, just think yourself, is it possible to read the full text? If especially we are self-study students, is it possible for us to read the text also and do the kit also and do the past papers in the mocks also? So everyone has different uh, point of views and experiences. According to my experience and my point of view as a tutor and as a student, I would recommend that in the remaining days, please focus on the practice. Because ACCA is such a qualification that if you know the concepts too much, that won't help. What will help is your application or skills to manage a case study. That is what is ACCA is testing you upon. Okay, so just go and do practice. Now, ma'am, how can we do practice if we have just started with the syllabus? We've procrastinated in the past. We've booked an exam. It's a pressure on our mind, but we have not studied for it yet. Or we have studied, but partially. It's not up to that level that we are confident about it. So, yes, guys. I would recommend you there are many free resources available you can check the YouTube channel Wifi's channel on my channel there are so many uh, you know free resources for FR SBR audit and diploma IFRS as well but in general I wouldn't name many but there are many free resources so you can just you know google a topic and you'll find a video on it so what what else do you want just go through the concept ASAP and move to its practice Practice will make you perfect. Practice will give you confidence. Practice will help you pass the paper. Not any lectures, not any concepts, nothing. Just practice. Okay. So that's what my first recommendation is. That for the remaining time, please do smart work. Don't focus on the reading of the chapters again and again because you feel that the information is not fitting in. Moving to the practice. Now, how can we do effective practice? So most of the papers have some few important questions, okay, which you can find on my community post on my YouTube channel. I've posted it in the previous attempts. What are the super 20 questions for SBR, FR? All of them have been posted on my YouTube community, okay? So just focus on those 20 to 15 questions first. I'm not saying just practice 20 questions and you'll pass the paper. No, you have to do all the questions that is in the kit whichever you are following, BPP or Kaplan, you have to follow all the questions, read them, do them, practice them, not, not just written practice. It can be RBR, that I read the question, I brainstorm the case study and then I read its answer. That approach also works. So you have to do practice of the prioritized questions first so that you have a coverage, you get a confidence that I've covered concepts and syllabus from every area. I'm done with it then you can do those extra bonus questions which are remaining in the kit and that will take very less of your time okay so do the syllabus asap from free resources or if you're enrolled into any course crash course wherever just cover the syllabus asap from there and focus on the practice fine then you have to go for your uh, written mock exams that means you have to give a mock exam and this is something which you have to manage in the remaining 15 days so I would say in the five days minimum, 
five days will be taken for the syllabus but we can't afford more than five days okay so five days you can devote to the uh, questions and the syllabus area like just the questions if you are doing skill level then you can first cover the syllabus and do the mcqs questions of that area if you're doing professional level then you have to cover the concepts first and then move on to the practice so you have to make your own strategy but the point is that in the remaining five days you can do syllabus and the rest of the days you have to do the super 20 questions super 15 questions and the question practice from past papers or give a mock as well right so this is very very essential that you manage your remaining time so this is what i believe is the right technique for passing acc exams this is not for the students who are studying from the day one the ones who are studying from the day one they've done the concepts they know it still they are not confident because every time you know we've pre prepared well we always feel okay i don't know anything that's that's common to all so don't count yourself in that category I'm talking about the professionals or people who have work and family life obligations who were not able to cope up with the studies in the previous two months and now are, you know, focusing holistically on the study. So first cover the syllabus, lectures, notes, whatever suits you, cover the syllabus, that's on to you, how you cover it and move to the practice of the super 20 questions. Then in towards the end of these days, that is around, if I approximately tell you, after 25th of May or, you know, 27th of May, you should be giving your mock exam. I would say that you should give two mocks at least, but one would work also. If you have given a perfect mock, that means you didn't have any time uh, issues or you didn't have any other, you know, conceptual issues. So one mock was sufficient, but if you did have some issues, then two mocks are essential. So mock will not only boost your confidence, guys. Let me just emphasize that mock exam is not something which would reflect your score in the actual exam. Don't think this way. You know, I failed my uh, mock exam for two papers. That is AA, I remember. And I also failed it for AAA. But then I passed in my actual exam when I gave for that attempt. So that means mock is not something which is going to tell you where you stand it will rather give you your weaknesses, okay? Sometimes for some students who have given their best, their mock results are same as their exam results. But the students who have a scope of improvement, you know, as a tutor, I remember giving a score of 46 to a student. He was disheartened, but there were some uh, difficulties in his exam. And then I gave, uh, gave him a proper feedback that these are the things you can improve on. We had a doubt session with him. We cleared his all doubts. And then when he came back from his actual exam, and got his results he got a score of 60 so 46 in mock to a 60 in actual exam you can also make it so first it's important to give a mock to understand what are our mistakes or what are the things we can improve so mock exam practice questions priority questions syllabus coverage all other things that would help you so very soon i'm coming up with free sessions on sbr with wifi and i will be sharing the details with you you can connect to me in my uh, WhatsApp, Instagram. You can join my Instagram community and we can just talk about things related to ACCA in general. So I hope this video was helpful and all the best. And don't worry, you will find the support on this channel till the day of your exam. So all the best and see you in the next video.